Today I'll be showing you how to use some really cool OBS plugins. One that controls shaders and one that you can scale to sound. So you can do things like this and this. As well as this feature called scale to sound, it'll look something like this. Right, so here we are in OBS. And before we do anything else, I wanna show you a quick installation. Now, of course, both download links will be in the comments below. So I've opened new windows in Explorer, that is File Explorer, line them up side by side. One is where my OBS resides, which is OBS Studio Data OBS Plugins. And as you can see here on the right, you'll see I have OBS Studio Data OBS Plugin. You wanna make sure that both file paths are identical, so the plugin works. You wanna take all these files here and drag them over to your OBS Studio, and that's it. Shift A, then I drag the folders into the OBS folder. And I've already done this, so there's no need for me to do this again. Okay, here we are in OBS. I've already have a scene created. Now let's take a look at the first plugin, which is scale to sound examples. So as you can see here, I added an image. I just click on the plus sign and then go to image. And then we'll go ahead and create new. I'll call this logo, my logo, hit okay. Browse for the logo. Once we have an image, we go ahead and click okay. There's my logo on my desktop. Now we'll go ahead and right click it, go to filters, hit this plus sign here, and go to scale to sound. Now if you don't see this, then the installation was incorrect, but let's go ahead and do scale to sound. Hit okay. And now we look for the audio source. Make sure this is set correctly to your output capture, which is your desktop, or wherever the audio is coming from. So I have my audio source playing, and as you can see, check it out. Is that pretty cool or what? The icon is moving along with the beat of the song. You can actually control the way it looks with these sliders. Now check that out. There's our logo. And you can put that anywhere on your screen. And that's pretty neat. I'll just go ahead and resize that. So let's have some more fun with this and add some shaders. I'll click on video capture, which is my camera. I have two cameras. Go to filters. Now we're gonna hit plus and look for user defined shader. Click okay, it'll bring up more sliders. You wanna go here, load shader text from file. Go to browse. Now here are our shaders. I'm gonna go ahead and type in rainbow shader. It's the one I wanna use. Open, so here's our rainbow shader. Now for this shader, I wanna go ahead and apply to image and hit close and look how cool that is. So here we can control when it goes on and off by clicking the eye icon. Can turn it off turn it back on this will be cool for a stream for a live stream or a countdown or you know the sky's limit. now i don't mention the sky's limit here but it really is because we have multiple plugins going at the same time here we have the rainbow the vhs shader we can have multiple screens we can also have our sound plane which controls our icon so we can basically control our environment here and like i said this would be very cool on a live stream okay so i have one more plugin to show you before i go We'll go to video capture device again, go to filters, go to our user defined shader, click on OK. Now we're going to be using the effect file instead of our shader file. So we'll go into load shader text from file, go to browse, and now I'm going to go ahead and click on cartoon effect, which is different than the shader file. Click OK, and then we'll go ahead and use, click on this use effect file, reload the effect, Hit close, and there's our cool cartoon effect. Now we have a combination of our effect as well as scale to sound. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions or concerns, please let me know in the comments section below. I just want to say that our channel is growing, and all your support is very appreciated. Once again, these plugins are absolutely free, so please check them out.